Okay, hey everybody, this is Mark Maya. This is my son, Harvest. And we are going to walk you through a very, very rapid edit of Adobe Exposure that I recently did, just to show you how my workflow works. Harvest actually shoots double exposures with the Fujifilm um, Mini, 90. Mini 90, the Instax, and then also the Fujifilm X100 back Wait. here. Which I just took a picture of a minute ago. And he did, he just took this photo a minute ago. I'll show you the one that he took right here. And we just walked through a quick edit he took of me outside of our home with this camera right here. It's really cool. So, what we're going to do though is we're going to walk you guys through a quick edit of this image right here. So, what? I saw a little multiple exposure of somebody with a bigger head mm -hmm. and hair. That is, that is and, one. And you do that. did that one yesterday, actually. Cool. How would you do that? Well, just with the Canon 5D Mark III. Yeah, I know if you did it with the Canon 5D Mark III. I'm asking you. Well, what? Why? If, where did you get the bear head from? Um, one of the other educators that I teach photography and film with had it, and we put it on somebody, and we did a double exposure with them. It was funny. Mm -hmm. So I'm applying my DE03, which is my double exposure preset that I've developed. Well, this is my one of my go-to presets. So the first thing that I see. Huh? Yeah, you can say your special word. Go for it. La la boo. That's my special word for picture. That's mm -hmm. a special word for picture. And I really want the end of that branch. There it is. Yeah. That's what I wanted. And let's see. Um, I think I'm okay. I just like that little space. I applied this preset. The first thing I notice is that there's a lot of highlights that are distracting. Um, if I squint like this, I can see those highlights very, very clearly. Those are the ones that I want to try to get rid of with the hill tool quickly. So I'm going to press Q, go through, and just start tapping. Uh, I will inevitably have to go back and change some. Yeah, I have a stretch, man. It's important to take breaks and stretch. And again, I'm just trying to take away distractions. So, many times I'll go through and get even these small ones, but just for this video's sake, um, I'm not going to do all of those, but I am going to just go to each one and at least the big ones, and and see what the hills will can do quickly to this raw double exposure in Lightroom. With a raw photo, when you're doing the hill tool, it sometimes will. it slows things down, so you have to be patient. Okay. Shooting over there? <laughs> With no film, I know what turn it on. Yeah, we ran out of film. We shot a wedding this weekend. And, um... That used up all the film. He shot his last pack of film with that thing, so... And we did two more with our babysitter last night. Yeah, we did. For sure. That was the last two, I guess, wasn't it? Mm-hmm. Yeah. We've had two. Now it has, let me see... What's that dot for? Well, I guess that means there's no film in it. So I got I got the guy's face pretty good. See how I got all the highlights going. And there's before, and so you can see some of the highlights there, and there's after. So now I'll work on hers. Don't have to worry about. Well. Yeah. 
game, just some of these kind of randomly placed highlights is what I'm trying to get rid of. That is, what is that? Battery to my camera. There's a battery to his Instax there. And this is going to be interesting up here because it's got different colors and different gradients. See what Lightroom does, and it didn't do well. Yeah, it was, I didn't think that it would, so I'll have to move the heel replication there. That probably will fix it. Yeah, it did. That's okay. Sometimes you got to do that. Lightroom is not perfect. Doesn't understand. See, it did it there as well. Help back in. Let's see what we got happening. We're trying to put the. Looks like we're trying to put the. Little plus little thing that covers the battery. Okay. There we go. Thanks. You're welcome. So, yeah, that looks a little better. So, we're going to keep going here. Getting these big distractions. Like does, that one didn't work out very well. Is this the flash? Hmm? What is the flash? Huh? There we go. La la loo. Slow one. And again, the way that I look for highlights is I squint like this, and then whatever still kind of stands out to me. So, like this one definitely does. Yeah, that does. Maybe a little. There. That, that little there. area right there. Uh -huh. Okay. Sometimes I may need to zoom in a little more and do it again. It's like that area. So this is important because it's her cheekbone, right? And there's her eye. And that to kind of stay the focus, right? That's the point. So again, that big space and then this line in this area maybe need, needed healing a little bit. A little tiny oh. more. Add a little tiny zoom in more. How about that? <laughs> more zoom. What's that? Doing? That? It's like kind of drawing. Photo? It's kind of like drawing. Yeah. It's kind of like cleaning up a photograph. But you clean the photo. So you clean up a photo. Don't do that. Yeah. Yep. That's what photographers should do: is take time to. Get rid of distractions. They for should them. have an Apple computer, and not other computers. Mm. Well, a lot of people out there that are watching this do have Apple computers. How do you know? Well, a lot of photographers use use Apple computers. Like, I mean, all the people in your class have Apple computers. Not always. Some of them have PC computers, but usually photographers have Apple computers. So, like. Assuming. So, like, do you have the Apple computer in yours? Mm -hmm. That's right. I still need to get that little spot, definitely. This is your little part of the room, right, Dad? That's right. Where, this is actually where me and you have a little bit of quiet time, right? Sometimes. Sometimes we do. Like, if, or maybe sometimes we need help, like, putting pictures onto Instagram. Mm -hmm. Harvest has his own Instagram account. If you want to check it out, you want to tell him what your handle is. Um, harvest picture. Um, it's Harvest Maya photo. Remember? Yeah. So, can you spell your first name? Harvest. H A R V E S T. Mm -hmm. H A R V E S T. This is first name, and then Maya. M A Y A. M A Y A, and then the word photo. No spaces. At, uh, that is on Instagram. Okay, one more. So again, I'm squinting to see where the highlights are. This little line here is kind of bugging me, and then this little spot. Yeah. There's a few more that I'll need to get. It's important. Well, other things. Maybe you should like uncover. Maybe you could uncover that little white spot right there. Mm, possibly that might be something that if I have more time, I might spend on. It's a good idea. Let's see what else. So this one, um, you know, those spots, those isolated spots are the ones I'm looking at. 
I put a little light there down. Mm -hmm. Those are nice light spots as well. All right. Can you clean up that area too? Mm -hmm. Let's make sure that's okay. Mm -hmm. I don't like the way that turned out. I'm going to move this little fella. Clean it a little over here too. Okay. <laughs> I think that's okay. Yep, so you know, you can see how big some of those distractions there. There we go. And then I'm gonna get that little line right there because that's bugging me a little bit. The double exposure is undefined. You might not want to climb on the wall upside down. Although you are a good climber. <laughs> because I'm still exercising. Yeah. Well, I'm exercising on the things. Yeah, I know. You're, getting, you're mm. making it seem like we're in an earthquake over here. Mm. Okay, I think I'm good with um, some distractions. So we'll show you before. Before is there. So you can see, definitely see that it took away some distractions. And, and then my preset as well did the same. Now, if I, would, if I had more time, I would go down and get some of these isolated areas as well, like Harvest was talking about, but we don't today. Um, Not maybe tomorrow. Maybe tomorrow. So, um, I'm, I need to start thinking about my exposure levels. So, you know, this is a lot sure. This is a normal portrait. So, we are going to have a lower exposed portrait and a higher exposed portrait background. I'm always checking myself before and after. So this is what I wanted. My highlights are usually pretty low. Yeah. And I've already, do, I've spent a lot of time developing my preset. Back up if you don't mind, just a smidge. Maybe a little more. Doing preset. So what I do spend time on after my preset is the sharpening. So if I hold option and then start dragging my preset amount and radius, that's where you get those details coming in so you can see everything. Radius detail and then finally masking. I'm holding option to get all these things showing on the screen. Masking the, the white part there just shows you. White and black. Mm -hmm. yep. um, let's see there. No. I don't add grain in Lightroom. I'm going to be adding it in alien skin exposure. Alien momentarily. skin. Alien. Alien. Hello. Skin. I don't recommend editing with children in your arms out there, but you gotta do what you gotta do. Uh, I had all got a little dehay, so I'm good. I, I might spend a little more time um, messing around with their skin tones if, if I had more time, but this is a quick edit, so you know, right click. Edit in Exposure X. And if it was going to be printed, I would change that resolution to 300, but it's not going to be printed today. If, if, if I decide I want to print it, then I can do that with 300. You're picking your nose for everyone out there. It's kind of gross. That'll be, that'll be, that'll be. So it's going to open up an Alien Skin, which is a different application. They're actually a Raleigh, North Carolina company, which is right up the road from us. Um, a lot of people from all over the world use them. I recommend them. So really all I do here is I go over to my grain. Well first I need to zoom in. Um, and I'll all that white stuff. Yeah. There's your highlight background. And I usually am choosing adding detail upon highlights or add detail to shadows and highlights. And then I will just adjust them based on what I And then you can just let children grab your arms like editing, and that helps too. <laughs> so, that looks fine to me. And I'll just press save, and it is back in Lightroom. And so, what it did is it created a TIFF file for me, which is just below the raw. And you'll see, I have, it should pop up. There it is. So, I, there's no TIFF, there's no RAW, I can go back and edit it and change it at any time. 
And that's it. So that is a quick edit on one of my double exposure photographs. And there, and that was a few minutes ago we did show you guys. That was. Feel free to ask questions and uh, communicate with us. You can follow him at Harvest Maya Photo on Instagram, or you can follow me at Mark Maya Photo, M-A-R-K-M-A-Y. Hope you guys have an amazing day. Peace. Bye.